Hey everybody, it's Stone here and welcome to another unboxing video. This time I have the Nintendo Switch, finally. Uh, back when this thing first uh, was announced, I could have pre-ordered it. I could have had it right then and there uh, on March 3rd. I decided not to. The cursor was hovering over the pre-order button and uh, I, I backed out. I really wish I hadn't done that. Uh, I've had to wait all this time. Now it is June 11th as of recording this, uh, and I finally got a Nintendo Switch. I finally have the uh, the means to. Um, this is the uh, Neon Nintendo Switch, obviously, with the Neon Joy-Cons. Uh, when it first was announced, I would have preferred the grays. I would have preferred the grays, but uh, I got a chance to use the gray Switch uh, in person because of a friend. And because of another friend, I was able to use the neon switch, and I like how the neon Joy-Cons look in person a lot more than the grays. So uh, thankfully, I was able to make that decision really easily. Um, the side of the box here, pretty cool. I really, I, I actually really like the box and all the all the marketing for the switch. It just everything looks all sleek. I still have my ticket number from Best Buy this morning, uh, and the and the shipment number and all that stuff. They, I had. Uh, a few days ago, I decided that I was going to do this uh, for sure, and I called seven GameStops in my surrounding area, and none of them had any Switches left. I called, I think, four Walmarts. None of them had any. Uh, no, no Toys R Us, no uh, Target. None of them had any Switches left. And then finally, uh, there are a couple Best Buys in Lexington uh, that, that let me... Well, they, they informed me that they were getting a shipment uh, just a few days in advance. So, I showed up this morning, uh, there were a few people camping out waiting for them, uh, I think like maybe 15 to 20 people, so, and we all got Switches, so it was really nice. I actually picked up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, it, I had decided that this was the first game I wanted because I have a few friends that are going to be playing it with me, uh, and I'm not too interested in Breath of the Wild, I do want to get it eventually, uh, but it's not top of my list right now. So I picked up MK8 Deluxe, and I was actually really surprised at the simplicity of the the switch cases and stuff. There's no manuals or anything anymore, but the cover is really dope. I actually like it a lot. Uh, anyway, no more stalling, no more rambling. Let's get right into this unboxing. I've actually never seen, uh, I've never watched a switch, but most unboxings that I do for you guys, I already know uh, what's going to be in it, what's going to be, uh, you know, what it looks like on the inside of the box. I've actually never seen one for the switch, and we get obviously the the switch itself, uh, the Joy Cons. Uh, the straps it looks like, HDMI cord I think, uh, the AC adapter, the controller adapter that you can put the Joy-Cons into, and the dock. Uh, I was actually going to get a Pro Controller this morning, but uh, my girlfriend went with me to go pick this up, and I was, honestly, I hadn't planned on getting the Pro Controller beforehand. Uh, so I didn't bring enough money for that, I needed money for lunch, and thankfully she talked me out of, uh, starving myself and, and getting the Pro Controller, so, thank God for her. Um, I'll, I'll be picking that up on another day, probably, I'll, I'll most likely do a separate video for this, uh, all this stuff, we got some instructions here, but I'm not worried about it, look at this beautiful packaging, so simple and clean, all we gotta do is lift up here, it seems like to get out the switch itself that's so light so nice just a black screen with this with the uh, joy-con slider things on the side uh, on the back you can see nintendo switch it's got the little kickstand oh i'm gonna have so much fun with this i can already tell charger thing on the bottom i think there is a headphone jack on top i don't know if you can yeah right there uh, and the volume rockers over here along with the power button i'm super excited for this uh this looks fun <laughs> That headphone jack, I was funny, the first thing that popped in my head was Nintendo doesn't have courage, if you know the uh, the Phil Schiller joke from the Apple presentation last year. Oh, that nice electric red Joy-Con. I promise you guys, the video doesn't do it justice. Any pictures of, that you see of this does not do it justice. These colors are so vibrant and and like electric it does not look the same in person as it does on any video or picture i've seen i love how these look i'm so glad i was able to get my hands on a neon one instead of a gray one would i would if if i had shown up to best buy this morning and they said sorry the shipment only included gray switches gray joy cons would i have still bought one 
Absolutely. I would have just got the neon uh, Joy Cons later on down the road, but I'm really glad that that's what I get to start off with. Over here on the left, after you take that top layer out, we have an HDMI cord, pretty standard. Uh, and then we have the power adapter, also very uh, expected unless you're buying a new 3DS XL. <laughs> In which case, they don't include a power adapter for some reason. Here we have the switch uh, straps the, for the Joy-Cons. Nice, nice. I'm not complaining there. Uh, looks like it added a few. Does it add buttons to it? Huh. That's interesting. Hmm. Um, in this plastic here, we have the controller adapter. So I believe... Ooh, ooh, that looks better than I thought it would. Uh, you can just slide the Joy-Cons into this and play it like that. Uh, I'll, I'll look at that in a second. Uh, let's see, make sure I know how it works. Uh, over here on the right, oh, just getting in the middle, there's something else. Oh, it's the other, the other Joy-Con strap. I was wondering, I was like, why is there only one? Over here on the right, pull out some gutter standard literature, uh, instruction manual, legal stuff, you know, the huge. And down here, of course, is the dock, all nicely wrapped in bubble wrap. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot this box out the way, even though it's pretty and, and nice. I want to have room to look at this. Ooh, Nintendo Switch, and there it is, the dock. Two USB ports, I guess for charging or uh, for uh, storage as well. Um, you can set the you set the switch screen down in there, and it transfers over to your TV. Where's the HDMI port at? Where is it? What goes What goes in there? I actually don't know. Um, where is? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I had heard something about this, but I wasn't. Okay, this is cool. This opens up, and then there's. USB 3, uh, the AC port, and the HDMI port right there. And they all have cable management that comes out to the side like that. Ooh, this is clean. Love, love the smell of new products too. I had to, had to give that a nice sniff. Okay, now I'm gonna um, take the, the Joy-Cons out and feel of them and get a little, ooh, that's so pretty. It's very small. It's very small in my hand. I'm gonna get cramps playing this, I can already tell, but. Oh, all the buttons. Feel so nice and. Ah, nice and clicky. I like I like when, when buttons are really crisp like that. I don't like when they're soft and don't have much, with much click to them. This red is something to be admired. It's like a, it's like a neon pink almost. This, oh, I'm so glad I got the, the neon ones. Everything feels so great about this. Okay, now, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm going to slide these into here, like so. And uh, see how this feels to hold in hand. I actually have not gotten to use a setup like this. Okay, that's, uh, I mean, that's not, that's not bad by any means. Definitely not as comfortable as the Pro Controller. I have gotten to use that. And I will be getting that, like I said, very soon. Um, but this is a very capable, very capable uh, substitute for that until then. I'm really glad that it comes with it. I think, how do I get this out of here? Press it like this. Yep, and it just slides right out. Awesome. You can play games just with the Joy-Cons alone. You don't need to connect them to uh, that controller thing, or even the screen, but the screen, I mean, obviously this, no, you don't even have to have them connected to the screen, you could just have it set up, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out, this big, nice, pretty 1080p display, packed in such a small size, um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out the kickstand here and see how well that sits up, ooh, nice angle too, that's as if you were gonna be sitting directly in front of it, that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna try to, it looks like the, ooh, the screen is really fingerprint resistant. It's not gonna get smudged very easily, it seems like. Now if you slide these onto here, like this, and this is your typical switch 
setup. This is what we were shown in the opening. Uh, th this is what we were shown in the reveal trailer. This is oh, it's so it's really long and pretty light too. It's got it's got some weight to it. It feels premium, but it's light. It's uh, it just it's thin. It feels very just feels good, man. I'm I'm excited to play this, and that's actually what I'm gonna go do right now after I demonstrate sitting this down. I don't think it matters which way you set the switch down inside here. Maybe it does. Either way, I think I can just do that and it should uh, it should, you know, switch over to the TV if I were. Maybe it has to go the other way. I don't know. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry, Mr. Switch. Please don't hate me. I'm going to be more careful and I'm going to go play this. I'm going to go plug it up, set it up and have a grand old time because I'm really excited to play Mario Kart on this or anything on this at all. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Drop a like if you liked it and you want more. Uh, and I'll probably, I'll be back soon. See you guys next time.